So one of the things I really like using my Glowforge for is to cut acrylic because it does such a great job at cutting acrylic. Anyways, uh, the thing I really don't like about cutting acrylic on my Glowforge or engraving it is the way it smells. So even if you leave the lid closed for say 20-30 minutes, um, that smell just kind of just wafts out of the machine when you open the lid. But I figured out a way to eliminate the smell to an almost imperceptible level. And what I have here is a piece of sacrificial wood. This is a piece of draft board that I just threw in the machine. And I leave it up here, and every time I do an acrylic cut, the last step of my cutting process is to engrave a little square. This is about a three quarter inch square out of the draft board. And I try and move the square as I'm going along, but you can see every now and then I miss. But this um, creates a smoke that just coats the inside of the machine with like a, a fresh smoke and it um, absorbs the acrylic smell. And I'm going to show you how I do that and let's get started with that. So I just loaded a fresh piece of acrylic in here. It has the protective coating on it. And I left the piece of draft board scrap in the upper corner where it was at. And then I came over to the screen here and I'm going to bump this little guy over, the little square that I'm going to engrave so that it will engrave in a new section. And then as you can see, the very last step in my work process is engraving that last square. And I'm doing the fourth step in my uh, workflow here, which is cutting this gear set. And I've got that set up, and I'm going to hit the print button. The laser is going to come over and measure the depth of the material so it knows where to focus the laser at. And then I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here and then I'm going to restart it uh, so that we can time lapse the next section so you don't have to sit there and watch it cut the gear in the normal speed. So here you can see I'm engraving the uh, proof grade um, draft board. I'm going to move the camera. And as it's being engraved, it's producing a lot of smoke that kind of coats the inside of the laser and the uh, acrylic that was just cut. And it's also pulling extra air out of the machine right now. And this virtually eliminates all of the burnt acrylic smell when you go to open the machine and when you're handling the already cut acrylic. Because a lot of that vapor from the um, acrylic when it's cut with the laser ends up on that sheet of protective material and it kind of smells for days. But using this method I've virtually eliminated all the smells from it and I'm rather happy that I use this method. And I hope this helps somebody that is trying to cut acrylic in their Glowforge. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I have more videos coming. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.